activate it. Um, okay, then we will go to the quick start. You have two options. You can use a project, but we are not using this option. We are going to create a snake project from El House Menhik. Menhik, I don't know how to say that. But it's this guy. It's a really a, to a crack. This is a crack. He has this snake similar to the snake in made by Sumo Digital, Snake Pass. We are going to download the version, the latest version. Um, well, when you see this video, you probably have another engine. So get the project for your engine. And then, okay, we are going to unzip this, unwrap this, and let's call it snake photon and let's open it okay well I want to switch I want to switch the engine because I want to use a real 423 so let's switch to 23 now okay Okay, this is the project. Uh, we don't need virtual reality. Okay, so this is the gameplay just for single player, and we are going to add a multiplayer layer on top of this game. Okay, so the first thing is to get the plugin. We have the plugin already. And you probably have something like this. This. When you get the plugin. Okay, let's open this. Read me. Mm. Okay, so first thing we need to make this plugin work because. Uh, as Photon is a third-party library, I can include it in the plugin uh, in the Epic servers. So you have to download the SDK, SDKs manually. So you have to go to this URL, this one. Then you want to filter by real time and Windows. So you get this real time. The version right now is for 115 okay once you have this uh, you have to follow this scheme to copy the files it's really straightforward you just have to copy the sources and the libraries uh, you will see it's really really easy uh, so you have to go to the plugin directory, source, third party, photon. And for each library, we copy the includes, load balancing, include, source. Okay. Well, source, we don't need the source. This is for example, I think. No, no, we need it. Uh, okay. Then photon. And finally, the library for the all the frameworks you want to use. Right now, we just use Windows. So, again, you have to go all over again for each project and copy the libs inside lib windows or the framework you need. In fact, we don't need any 20, uh, 32 bits library. 
and we only use md version so we can delete the others yeah okay we have all the libs to link we just need to fix the source to be able to compile uh, the plugin with this SDK. There are only two things um, to do. Uh, we have to change the code. So let's go to third party photo common include and we get these files from enum type code. This one. And we have to change this float for eg float. It's pretty easy. And the same for the other files. Helpers. Confirm allowed. So you can search for float and use instead of type code float, type code eg float. Same here. Um, I think we are almost done. Mm. Ah, yeah, we need to change this so we can. Yeah. In type name. line is this one 40. okay this one we don't need any of this so we can just remove it yeah. and that's it if you want to compile for Android, you have to do the last step. It's just to remove the templates for G string, J string. Okay, so now how do I compile? Instead of open the project and see if everything is working, you can compile the plugin uh, using your version of the engine um, compiling it directly okay so I think it's yeah, yeah it's fine. Let's keep this way we are not uh, loading the project so Unreal compiles the plugin for us it's us that uh, who are compiling the plugin before. Okay. okay once once it's done, we can go uh, and copy the plugin in the project. Okay, I think it, I think it's working, but it's compiling the plugin for all the platforms, so we don't need that. We know it compiles, so for Windows, uh, we can cut this and create here a directory plugins and move here the plugin. Okay, so now we can operate the project. It will ask for compile the plugin again, but we know it compiles, so it will work. We just have to wait. Okay, after this mm, we have 
the plugin installed already. We can see it in the networking. So we know here the project networking is enabled. So yeah, if I open any blueprints, for example, this for the pound or the get mode. You can get on cloud here. So it's working. So in the next video we will learn how to use Photon to make a connection, create a room, and then create this pound online. Um, so thanks for watching.